Hi everybody, this is Sherry and I wanted to show you a card that I was commissioned to make for a little girl's birthday and I'm not going to show you the inside well I guess I can because I haven't glued down the they asked for a specific sentiment so I uh, I can oh, I haven't put it in yet so I guess it's okay to show you that <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking I used for my image here I used uh, Magnolia, my Magnolia Tilda and Cotton Dress image and the card base I cut from my Cricut again. I have been having a ball. I've been going through and just looking for different shapes and I found this one and actually all of the layers went together so um, with the exception with the exception of the circle and I of course just went to Georgian basic shapes and found me a circle and uh, the paper that I used here is older than dirt folks we're like pushing you know you know how everybody says oh that's so vintage well that's what we're looking at here almost the paper was a 2008 edition uh, a Martha Stewart playful pink and green and so all of the collars, all of the layers came from that stack. Then I used some Wild Orchid Crafts, which are these one, this one and these two here. And then these ones down here, the little tiny roses, are from I Am Roses. I used some flat back hearts up here from my stash. And this one down here, which is from Recollections. And I got it last year. I want to say after Valentine's Day so I don't know if you'll be able to find it so I'm gonna zoom you in here so you can get a better look and um, so this is what she looks like I'm trying every time I call her by the time I get done you know putting the layers on and everything of the with the Copics my colors tend to get too dark so I've been trying to work on you know doing more pastel and real pale and light colors so that's how I did her dress and for her dress I used R quadruple zero triple zero and zero one for her crown up here I used V quadruple zero triple zero and zero one for her skin um, I used E quadruple zero double zero and 50 and then for her hair I've never been real good at dark hair and the little girl is real she's got a real pale complexion and she's got beautiful black hair but I tried I just could not master the black yet I, I mean I that was really my first time and I stamped out a bunch of just you know just her you know I went at an angle and got her hair and I didn't get the crown or anything and I tried and I couldn't I just she it just either I couldn't get the highlight to show or I tried adding some dark browns in there to help and then that just made her look wonky or she looked like she had blue hair at one point she looked like a gray hair or blue haired old lady <laughs> I was like and uh, this is not working for me so I ended up using E49 47 44 and 43 and that turned out I think pretty good it's just I was really hoping to be able to get the actual color of this little girl's hair which is just such a pretty dark black hair but I just could not do it no matter how hard I tried but you know I'll keep practicing I'll get there eventually and uh, I'll scoot you up here and let you see the flowers. I sprayed these with my recollections, these three large ones. And then these ones are the colors they came in, which is pale pink. This one, I think it's supposed to be lavender, but all the lavender ended up being on the back side on both of them. So I guess that didn't quite work out the way I wanted. And they're um, six, five, and four millimeter um, miniature roses from I Am Roses and uh, if anybody knows where I can get all white trellis roses 
I, Wild Orchid Crafts said they were going to get them in, but they still haven't. And I found some. I just, um, but they're not, they're not called trellis roses, and they're from a different place. And I'm a little nervous. They're called swan roses at this place. And I'm a little nervous not knowing what kind of quality they are. You know, I don't want to place an order and get a bunch of them and not be happy with them. So if anybody's ordered the Swan Roses and can tell me, you know, what you thought of them, I would appreciate it. Um, or if you have, you know, have seen somewhere that's selling the all-white ones, you know, let me know, please. And there's the little sparkly heart, and I just kind of tucked it down in there. And I'll go back out here so I can show you the inside of the card, which, like I said, I don't know what I was thinking. I just welded the two images together and I've got a circle cut out with what they requested to be put in here and I'm going to ink it up with, uh, what's the name of that, shabby shutters, that's what it is, because that kind of matches that color the best out of the ones that I have and I have quite a few of his inks so I think that's the one I'm going to do to make it match. And uh, so there it is, guys. There's my card. I hope you like it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know what you think. Um, whew, I feel like I rushed through that and I didn't mean to. It's just that Mariah's home and she just came through the door. She came home a little early today and she was a little upset when she came in. So I just want to go spend some time with her and I didn't mean to rush. So I apologize if that's how I came across all my video. So I will talk to you all later and you guys have a great evening. Bye!